Okay guys, it is Friday morning and I weighed in this morning and I was up two and a half pounds. So it was 178.2 uh, I think. So I've been kind of feeling kind of weird all week. I've been super, super crazy stressed out at work and not sleeping as much as I should. So I think that's all playing into it because other than one day that I had a little bit higher calories, which would have been like, I don't know, 1800 maybe, I was still under 20 carbs. So I'm not really, I didn't really do anything to cause a weight gain so I think it's hormones and stress so we'll see I'm gonna be back doing my thing next week um, yesterday I filled, filmed a whole day a full day of eating I'm sorry and um, I'm gonna add this right behind this video I'm gonna try and do full day eating once a week just so that you know people get ideas of what I eat um, it's not crazy exciting because I kind of eat the same things over and over again But I have been trying different recipes and I did one last night. I this week. I will do a Video on how I made the Brussels sprouts that you're gonna see at the end of this video um, The dinner that I showed um, I did not eat all of the Brussels sprouts or of the roast because it, I, I still load my plate up too much sometimes so I didn't eat everything on my plate. So my calories were less than 1,200 yesterday, which is kind of unusual. I'm usually around 1,400, 1,500, um, but I just, I didn't eat as much yesterday. So uh, that's it. I'll maybe, I'll be back sometime this week with that recipe video, okay? Bye guys, have a great week. Go out and make it happen. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a full day of eating. So I'm starting off my day like I normally do. I had my 16 ounces of water and all my vitamins. And I've made my cup of coffee with one tablespoon of the coffee made, the sugar-free, and then one tablespoon of heavy, heavy whipping cream. And I can tell today it's going to be a day where there's never enough coffee. Okay, so I just got to work. It's about 8, 8.15, and um, I'm feeling a bit off. I know that my electrolytes are off, so I am, I got this new stuff. It's uh, Electromix by Emergency. And it just has like all different electrolytes and let's see, 10 calories. You mix it with 32 ounces of water. But it has like magnesium, calcium, I think, yeah, potassium. So it doesn't have sodium, but I'm probably going to add a little salt to my water. Um, just because I'm feeling a little strange. So I'll probably drink either half of that or the whole thing today and see how I feel. Okay, I've been super hungry. I don't know why because usually I'm not hungry at all. But... It is uh, about quarter to twelve, and I just ate a serving of these macadamia nuts. It's 200 calories, 21 grams of fat, two net carbs, two protein. So, good stats. Hopefully, that will hold me over to about two o'clock for lunch. Okay, it is almost two. It's about, yeah, five minutes to two. Um, I'm getting ready to have lunch. I have um, just iceberg lettuce here that I brought from home, and I had four slices of bacon that I cooked last night and crumbled up and brought today. These are actually avocado stuffed doubled eggs. Um, they've kind of turned brown because of the avocado being exposed, but I want to show you like, it's really just like, that's the really good green color. So it's just going to be like an avocado um, bacon salad. And this is the dressing I use. I probably use less than a serving. Um, I think it's a local New Orleans brand. And I think I've shown it before. But 130 calories, 14 grams of fat, two carbs. Like I said, I think I have less than a serving. So I'll probably count it as like maybe one and a half servings. And that will be my lunch. I forgot to say that when I, to make the doubled eggs, I just had one boiled egg. I mashed up the yolk with one ounce of avocado, a half, I think, a half serving of mayonnaise, whatever 50 calories is, um, some mustard, salt, and pepper. And that's how I made the avocado doubled eggs. Okay, guys, I uh, just pulled up at the gym. My class starts in like 15 minutes. I forgot I was going to have a, um, one of these big cheese snack things, and I forgot to get it before I left the office, which kind of tells me I didn't really need it because I'm not hungry. So, not having a snack before the gym. Sorry, this lighting is crazy. Um, but I've been, I've, I have been feeling tired all day, and I, I forgot to say I had, uh, I had my cup of coffee this morning, but I had another cup at 9.30, and then I made another cup at like three I want to say um, just unusually feeling hungry today which was not normal but then once I had my cup of coffee started feeling a bit better I drank that whole bottle with the um, the emergency 
electrolyte drink thing. So that was 32 ounces of that, plus I had another 16 ounce bottle of water while I was there. Like I said, another cup of coffee. And now I'm gonna have, I have never had this before. It's the C4 pre-workout drink. I, I used to drink um, Mr. Hyde. I'd mix it with my water before my workouts, before I started keto, but there's no nutritional information on the um, the Mr. Hyde. So I do like the way it makes me feel like, ah, like, you know, like you're on speed or something. Um, but I haven't really been taking pre-workout stuff um, I took one other drink one one other one I got from Academy. I didn't feel like it really did much of anything Um, this one does have the inf nutritional information on it. Oh, let's see if I can get it to focus mm, Yeah, not so much. It's eight calories two net carbs Um, so I'm gonna try that today and see if that kind of gives me a little bit of a boost and I'll be back in um, When I get home tonight to show you my dinner Okay, so I am home. It is 8.15. I got home about maybe 25 minutes ago, and I have been cooking my dinner, and what I have is um, roast. Let me point, turn you around. I got roast that I cooked in the crock pot the other day, um, so I got five ounces of the roast. I know this plate looks huge, but it's really a small little dessert plate, um, and then I'm trying a new recipe. I, I didn't show the recipes. I wasn't sure how it was yet, but these are Brussels sprouts that I sauteed in a pan with um, bacon drippings, one piece of bacon and garlic, and then I put it in a, um, in a pan here with foil paper, and then I baked it for a little while, then I sprinkled some Parmesan cheese on top, and, um, baked it a little bit longer until it got a little bit toasty, so I'm gonna give that a try and let y'all know how it is. If it's good, I'll post it. I'll do another video with the recipe. Okay, this will be my last thing for tonight. It is almost 9 o'clock, and I'm gonna have a little cup of sugar-free lime jello that's 10 calories and then two servings of ready whip which I know isn't great but you know sometimes you just need ready whip <laughs> so that's gonna be 30 calories and two carbs so not bad I think my calories are gonna be just either just under or just over 1200 but I'll post that at the end of the video